Welcome MHS fans to Lion Gymnasium for the last time in this basketball season of 2005 and 6. We're here for the sub-state initial first round. First round uh, yeah, of the Osborne sub-state where we host tonight both the ladies and the boys from Stockton High School, the Stockton Tigers. Uh, neither squad, the boys or the girls, have ever played Stockton in basketball that I have been able to ascertain. The Lady Tigers are 4-15 and 15 on the night, on the season. The girls from Minneapolis are 11-9, and nine, seated number two. Stockton Tigers are seated number seven. This is the 32nd postseason for the Lady Lions. Uh, we have a 25 win and 32 loss record in postseason. We've gone to state twice. 1983 and 1992. Got third place once. Um, 28 of the 32 post seasons that we've been in have ended with a, home, a first, first round loss. So we hope to avert that tonight. Jared Shoemaker scoring about 11 points a ball game. I'm going to have to do some work here with my mic. Is it working okay, Dale? Can yeah. you tell? Okay. This is the first time the Lady Lions have hosted a first round subset game since the year 2000. So six years have gone by. And it's the first time both the girls and the boys have hosted a subset together since 1997. Well, I look forward to a pretty good ball game here. I also look forward to Lady Lions to uh, get tuned up for the tougher matches they have down the road, but we can't look by Stockton right now. Nope. It's one loss and you're out until you get by the first round of state tournament. So. You got to be sharp every night unless you want your season to end right now. I thought I was going to have the starters there, Dale, and I didn't. So we're going to do the national anthem here. borrow that fence while I write the starters down, get ready for the starting lineups.
have to watch her, Dale. They're starting a freshman there. Just a freshman. Yes, a Perry Odd Rantwell being announced. Starting guards. Five seven junior Megan Donovan. Jared Shoemaker, the second leading scorer for Minneapolis, scoring about 10 points a ball game. And Jordan Krausen, Minneapolis leading scorer and rebounder on the year. 5'11", junior. Six here for John Darrell and Dale Henderson as a team here. Coaching the Lady Lions. Their most successful season yet so far. Well, all the ingredients are there, I believe, that to uh, it's been a successful year so far. But I know uh, Coach and the girls would like to go take her just a step further. Yep. Set the stage for things to come. and A win tonight would definitely do that because they've yep. never gone, with him as a coach, they've never gone beyond first round of substate. They're usually out in Timbuktu somewhere and right. playing the first rated, first ranked team <laughs> in the substate. <laughs> Stockton starting two seniors. Now Tim Buck two got to come to Minneapolis this year. Two juniors and a freshman. Jordan Crossan jumping center for Minneapolis. I look for this to be a runaway, Mike. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Well, I hope they play smart ball. Jared Shoemaker all the way to the rack for a bucket. And now Minneapolis with the full court pressure. Stockton loses the ball. Jessa Perry picked that up on the way through, didn't she? Sure did. Now Megan Donovan, man-to-man -man defense by Stockton inside to cross and she misses. Easy shot, Jessa Perry almost a steal and Stockton saves it. They're still counting on that 10, but Tipped away by Megan, and she saves it. Court goes out of bounds. Turnover is talked, and now down to Jessa Perry. Looking inside, and it round to Megan. Now Audra Atwell with a touch. 7.07 left. Minneapolis up 2-0. Entry pass. Shoemaker into cross, and it's good. We definitely have a height advantage in there. We ought to exploit that a little height, bit further. Height and speed, I think. <laughs> Trapping, 3-1-1 press, and Stockton beats it. Shots up and missing. Audra Atwell with the rebound for Minneapolis. Now Shoemaker. And reach in foul on Renee Berkeley. It'd be her first. The foul is on number 14, Renee Berkeley. That's her first personal and first team foul. Four nothing, Minneapolis. Audra Atwell to throw it in for Minneapolis. Donovan now Perry on the wing. 14 footer rimming out. Crossing had a rebound, and Stockton grabs that board. She stopped, and Perry picks up the loose ball for Minneapolis. There we go, all the way in to Crossing. Tap that basket. And one, Crossan goes to the free throw line for that three point play, the old fashioned way. 
And that's, I believe, the start we were kind of hoping for, Dale. Yes. If they can build on this, uh, we'll be just fine. Crossing's free throw, front rim. And Stockton with the rebound. Now the pressure. Perry hounding Stockton's guard. Damro for Stockton now, stolen by Perry. She's on the move. It's a three on one. Donovan up and in. Took her time. Nice chip shot off the glass. Donovan with the first bucket. Good the fast game. break. We had numbers. There is tipped away by Jessica Perry again. That actually should be. Well, I thought it might have been tipped off Stockton. They award the ball to Stockton. And Stockton's coach uh, wants to discuss on what's going on here in Minneapolis up 8-0. 537 left first quarter. Good pressure defense by the Lady Lions, creating havoc with the Stockton Tigers. Lady Tigers having a little trouble with that pressure, which is good. Well, you know, they just haven't played the competition that we've <laughs> been playing. Uh, I think somebody's did a little not, scouting not, and realized not to critique them. Stockton isn't able to take care of the ball very well, mm -hmm. and I think we're going to put it to him until we feel comfortable. Substitution for Stockton during the timeout. Number 20, Jenny Nelson back in the game. One, two, one, one. Trapping press. Stockton, a nice job breaking the pressure. Now tipped away and reach in foul on Megan Donovan. That will be her first. Lady Tigers will play the ball in under their own basket. Tipped out by Perry. As Lowry had trouble handling that pass. Looking out on top, Lowry with the ball. Stockton uh, working against Minneapolis 2-3 zone here. First time they made it down this far to see what kind of defense we're in. There's a nice jump shot by Savannah Lowry. And Stockton's on the board. Shoemaker all the way to the baseline, shot in. Rattled it in, Jarrah Shoemaker with a bucket. Perry on the jump shots up and in. Another steal for Jessica Perry. She could have a basket full of them. Stockton now clears the timeline. Lowry. Pass out front, tipped through the hands of Stockton and out of bounds. I don't think the mercy rule applies tonight. It's not an NCAA game. The what does? The mercy rule. I don't think it applies tonight. It's not an, it's not an NCAA game. I think that's just an NCAA rule. Stockton moves into a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Chantel with her first look at the basket. It rims off. Darrow in for Minneapolis and Krista Seamers. Now Campbell with the ball. Looks at a three and it's intercepted on that entry pass. Cross. Now Shoemaker on the move. Pulls up. Seamers, 12-footer, no good. Gets her own rebound. Now in the corner to Shoemaker. Dribble drive, baseline, good. Well, Shoemaker's on, and everyone seems to be hitting. Minneapolis up 14-2 with 3.54 left. First quarter. She left the ball behind. Chantel picks up the loose ball from Minneapolis. We have numbers. Krista Seamers, nice pass to Audrey Atwell. She gets her own rebound. Missed an easy one there. Nice defense by Minneapolis. Stockton having a little trouble. And now they break the timeline. 
Shoemaker intercepts that entry pass. Now Seamers with the ball over to Shoemaker. Three minutes left. Entry pass to Wow. Shoemaker and Savannah Lowry with her first foul. Well, 14 to 2 lead, Dale. Looks good. I don't, I think you were right earlier. We ought to have our way tonight with Stockton Lady Tigers. They can handle the pressure and we're taller and quicker. Time out. 3.10 to go in the first quarter. 14 to 2 is the score. Well, this is the first game of Substate. As Dale mentioned earlier, we get to host the first round. And as luck would have it, Stockton gets to bring both the boys and the girls tonight. So my dad asked me if we were playing the same team, and that was before they announced the pairings. And uh, I said, no, <laughs> they sure did. Stockton boys and girls here tonight. We catch the boys at 7.30. I look for this gym to be jam-packed tonight. I hope so. It, it needs be. to be. It should be shocking if it isn't. Sub State game here at home. I know. There's, there's radio live, and there's nice tapes to watch later, but they ought to come see it live if they can. Minneapolis looking to attack a zone, and three-point shot by Shoemaker. It's no good. Crossing with the rebound. That a block. block. Now Shoemaker intercepts a pass, one on one, crossover dribble, left hand. That was a nice move by Jarrett Shoemaker. Crossover dribble, used the left hand. And Stockton now looking at a 14 point deficit. Good help defense by Jordan Crossan to get back, tip that ball out. Checking back in for Stockton had an easy bucket. Donovan back in for Minneapolis. Crossan gets a breather. Campbell with the ball. Entry pass, she's hung up in the lane. Shot, rims off, and Donovan clears the board for Minneapolis. Now, here we go. We have numbers again. Perry all alone. Eight footer. Shots up and in. <coughs> and that's exactly the way it should be. What happened? We get a warning for holding up play when the ball goes through the basket like that. You oh. can't tip it away. And oh, okay. Donovan happened to tip it away and that's the warning. Next one's a big T. The big T. Ball tipped away. She walked. Pirouette. And traveling call on Stockton. Chelsea Criley. Lowry back in for Criley. We've got a little extra stuff on the floor. This is Reinhardt and McGavern, Zucker, Zucker, Zucker. Somebody must have trailed something in. The yellow. I know it wasn't that wet mop. That old ellipsy wet mop. <laughs> Dad gun this thing I've ever seen. Yeah, we got it sopped up. We're ready to go. Seamers, Perry in the backcourt. Now Stockton back to man-to-man. -man. Switching defenses on us. Brittany Fulton in for Minneapolis. Darrow on the wing to Perry. Quick first step all the way to the basket. She misses. And Ole gives it to us. Off Stockton. 
Boy, she's got a quick first step, doesn't mm -hmm. she? Too quick sometimes. She can't make up for it to pull herself up time to get a decent shot at the basket. Fulton to throw the ball in. Perry with the ball. Now Darrow on the wing. Looking in the corner. Fulton looked at a three and passed it up. Now Perry. Fulton, three-pointer. Oh, my. Donovan with her second foul. Wipe out a three-pointer. Three-point shot by Brittany Fulton will not count. And Megan Donovan caught with a hold. Her second foul. Damro throwing the ball in for Stockton. Campbell with the ball now on the wing. That's Savannah Lowry. She gets the ball in close, and it's money. She's got a nice jump shot. Try it Brittany, again, Brittany, try, try it again. It again. Oop, that now time it's off. Just off the back, now Allie Katrin in for Minneapolis. Perry with a good defense out on top. Lowry in the lane, shot. In and out, tie up, Seamers. Possession arrow to Stockton. Crossing Atwell and Shoemaker back in for Minneapolis. 46 left here in the first quarter. 18 to four, Minneapolis. Entry pass to Lowry back out to Campbell. Long shot, rims off. Turn around jump shot by Damro is good on the rebound. Now 19 to shoot. Brittany Fulton looks inside. Shoemaker eyes a three. Put it up, back Brittany. to Brittany, long two pointer oh. in and out. Lowry. Long shot by Stockton's no good at the buzzer. And that's the way the first quarter will end. 18 to six. Ladies kind of taking off some of that pressure they put on earlier. I think Coach Darrow's put in his own mercy rule because I think it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, well, when you do a lot of substituting, you take out the flow of the game and takes a little, get, a while to get going again. Well, we got some uh, male uh, cheerleaders now. Well, I tell you, she better have uh, some balance. Uh, Moody and Kaiser just threw yeah. her about 10, 12 foot in the air. Got the wrestlers throwing them up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> glad, my, glad my daughter wasn't up there. I think it was like a basket them. catch, but I tell you what, they tossed her, I'll bet, 10 foot in the air. I'm going to have to watch for that next time, try to get it all on film. I got her coming down, going up and coming down, but didn't get it at her, at her zenith. 225 and 215, those guys are, they can, they can pitch you up in the airways. Need to congratulate the MHS wrestlers and went out to state this last weekend and competed. It's uh, quite an accomplishment to make it to state. Yes, it is. Two years ago, we didn't make it at all. Of course, yeah. we got put in a tough, tough, tough sub-state. I guess they call it regional. Jordan misses an easy one. Seamers on the backside, caught underneath, crossing with the rebound. No well, good. Now, Seamers was fouling crossing. Who are you going to call it on? <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> Both of them are going after the ball. We'll take it. Jordan, 
This is the second trip to the line tonight for Jordan. She'll shoot two. First one's up and in. 19 to six. They can ill afford to keep Lowry on the bench very much. Kayla Dam Damro back in and Lowry's gonna have to sit the bench the rest of the first half. Crossing second one, it's up and in. It's two for three tonight. Good. Damro with the ball, or excuse me, that's Nelson. Picked off by Shoemaker, it almost could have been a foul on Crossing, and Shoemaker goes all the way to the rack. It's Gravelin is the call. Took an extra step as she tried to get the sequence ready for that left hand. She's walking. Now Stockton against that full court pressure and she walked. Stutter step. Caught with a walk in Minneapolis. Gets it back. Hanwell with the ball in the backcourt. Now Darrow. Seamer, Shoemaker. Crossing for Minneapolis here. Man to man. Defense by Stockton. Dribble drive by Darrow. Pass is tipped out of bounds by Stockton. Chantel just needs to spin move the other way and go the rack. It was open. Maybe she'd already picked up her dribble. I think that's probably what the problem was. Ah, well, now to crossing. Well, Stockton's doing a better job covering up inside. Minneapolis, haven't, there we go. Crossing with a shot, point blank, rims off. Damro's a good player. The 25. And Chris Seamers with the reach in foul. Foul is charged to number 12, Krista Seamers. That's her first. Minneapolis third team foul. Nelson with the ball. She's just a freshman. No, she's a senior. It's the, uh, now the Nelson girl's a freshman. She's number 20. She has the ball right there. Dangerous pass. And they catch Audra Atwell with the reach in. Foul as the ball came clear across court. And that'll be her first foul. Damro to play the ball in for Stockton Lady Tigers. She's looking. Campbell with the ball. Berkeley with the ball on the wing now. Now Nelson topped the circle. Tried the entry pass. Here's Perry. We have numbers. Weaves through. <laughs> she had to get rid of it. Yep. Seamers walk. Well, we've had five points taken away from us. Brittany Fulton on a three-pointer, and there's Seamers. Kreile with the ball at half court, looking for. Tipped away, Seamers, nice steal. Up court to Jessa Perry. She misses. Shoemaker with the follow. And she's fouled. They're going to count that basket. Shoemaker came from nowhere to get that rebound. Donovan and Fulton come in for Seamers and Atwell. Well, Stockton's two best players now are in foul trouble, and Lowry has two, and she's back in. Nelson has two, and she's out. 
Shoemaker's free throw, good. 23 to six, Minneapolis with a commanding lead here. And that would be five seconds. Donovan back in, Fulton, Shoemaker shot. No good, but Crossen's there to clean it up. That stick back goes in. Lowry on the move for Stockton. Stockton fans will also get a little frustrated. To her, Mrs. Bertrand. Their squad. On the wing, and she plays it back to the ref. That's, she was, a, that pass went way behind her teammate. Donovan comes to get it as Perry inbounds it for Minneapolis. 4.59 first half. Minneapolis Lady Lions. Now there's, oh, that's a nice pass by Donovan. Crossens put back, no good, and Donovan with the third foul. Over the back. I know Coach Darrell just loves the aggressiveness of Megan Donovan. We can just keep her out of foul trouble. Third foul on Megan, 15 foul on Minneapolis. Stockton clears the timeline. And it's going the other way. As Berkeley dribbles it off her foot and out of bounds. So both Bertrands have made the play on the ball over there. Ran, uh, Larry, and there's a long three-pointer by Fulton, no good. And Stockton does a good job with the rebound. Now, Berkeley on the move for Stockton. That was definitely a walk. Damro tried to put the move on. Caught with an extra step. Now Atwell back in for Minneapolis. Stockton looking to trap. Brittany's got a good look at a three. Just won't go over now. Shoemaker, wow. On the offensive boards, Minneapolis cleaning up. Now Stockton clears the timeline. Lowry back in, playing with two fouls. Berkeley looking inside. Now stolen by Audrey Atwell, pass to Jordan Cross and pulls up for a 10 footer. Good. Jordan Crossan not wanting to take any chances, pulls up her little eight footer in the lane. And she's having a big first half. 29 6, Minneapolis. 23 point lead for the Lady Lions. Campbell with the ball out on top. Berkeley, Minneapolis, man to man defense. Almost another travel. Now Berkeley, baseline drive shots, no good. And Fulton with the rebound on the backside. Audra Atwell, all the way to the basket. Oh, nice dish off to Jordan Crossan. 31 to six, and Coach Darrow pulls the ladies back. Pick them up at half court, he says. Man to man. 237. Nice pick set for Lowry. She can't do anything with it. Nice switch off by Minneapolis now. Stockton with trouble out on top. Campbell baseline drive on the wing. Entry pass is intercepted by Crossan. Now down to Fulton. Out on top, Seamers. Atwell looks inside, now Shoemaker with the ball. Baseline drive all the way to the rack. And they're gonna get Crossan with uh, a hold. I don't know. 
Crossan doing a good job screening off down there. And the old hook foul. <laughs> Must have moved her out a little. First personal, sixth team foul on the Lions. Stockton has five. Darrow back in for they almost have as, They almost have as many fouls as they have points, Mike. You don't see that very often. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Now we have both the catcher and sisters in at the same time, which I'm sure they'll remember this. Substate game against Stockton. Both were playing together. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> now Brittany Fulton on the wing to Audra Atwell. Alley Catron now to Darrow looks at a three-pointer. Audra Atwell, now Brittany Fulton has another look at a three. She's can two, that one counts. You leave her alone and she can knock it down. 31, 34 to eight. Nelson with the ball for Stockton. Entry pass to Criley, now Lowry, jump shot. It's good. She's got a nice shot, she's got a nice jump shot. Now Darrow on the move for Minneapolis. Bolton looks at another one, the front rim. She's feeling it. Well, it creates offense if you can get the rebound, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we've had pretty good luck on that offensive glass. Yeah. yeah. 35 seconds to go on the half. Stockton now at the free throw line. Shot rims off. Lowry with the offensive board. Turnaround jump shot. No good. And Darrow with the big rebound for Minneapolis. There we go. Nice pass into Katrin. I believe that's Melanie Katrin. Yes, Melanie. Her first bucket of the night on a nice pass by Audra Atwell. And a quick shot at the buzzer, Stockton. Damro with a nice jump shot. Gives Stockton 12 points here in the first half. And that's the way it'll end at the end of the first half. Well, how about Minneapolis that? Minneapolis 36, Stockton 12. First quarter, we outscored them 18 to six. Second quarter, we outscored them 18 to six. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that in the next six games. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back with the second half. You have stats, Dale? Yeah, uh, I got, Point got some points here. Let's see. Might as well watch your boys warm up, huh? Minneapolis getting uh, stronger as our walking wounded get back into shape. Lomberger's ankle. Knocks his ankle, and not so sure that Trevor Atkins didn't get nicked up just a little bit in that Belleville game. He took a pretty good tumble down there across the body block, and I think he might have tweaked his ankle just a little bit. Yep. Unofficially in the first half, uh, Mila DeCatron with two, Megan Donovan with two, Brittany Fulton with three, Jessa Perry with four, Jordan Cross in 12, and Jerry Shoemaker with 13. Excellent. Spreading around the uh, points. Six, seven people have scored during the first half, and we've got two girls in double figures already. Yep. So we'll be back with the second half action here in about eight minutes. Here we go with half number two. Donovan playing with three fouls now back in for Minneapolis. Possession arrow to Stockton. And we're just about ready to start the second half. Lowry with the ball in the backcourt. Perry 
Neapolis looking to trap. Boys, that came awful close to a backcourt violation there. And Atwell with a block. Blocking foul is her second. Minneapolis first team foul. And Stockton will play it in. Damro into Lowry. Tipped away. Now Nelson. Into Damro. Jump shot. No good. Crossen claims that rebound from Minneapolis. And she stepped right out of her shoe and Olsen gives her a minute to get her PF flyer back on. Stockton in a zone. Defense Atwell. Now to Shoemaker. Three point shot. It's good. <laughs> Minneapolis hits the first bucket of the second half and it's a three ball. Shoemaker from the wing. Berkeley gets it tipped away by Donovan. Now Perry on the move. She can gain control. She'll have a bucket. Oh, rims right across, and Donovan with the board for Minneapolis. Wouldn't be doubly tough inside with Donovan and Crossan in there. Lowry, head fake, now drives to the baseline. Shot is blocked. Blocked from behind by Crossan. It was a clean. Yes, it was. Now Shoemaker having troubles dribbling. Crossing entry pass. It's good. Off the glass and in. Minneapolis now with a 31 point lead. Stockton now on the wing. Minneapolis man to man. Nelson being pestered by Donovan. And it's tipped out of bounds by Megan. Damro to throw the ball in for Stockton. Stockton looks at a three-pointer and passes it up. Now Atwell on the floor for Minneapolis, and they're going to call a tie-up to Minneapolis. Possession arrow to Minneapolis, and we get the ball back. Now Perry with a walking dribble across half court, looking inside. There it goes, crossing back to Donovan, tipped away. Donovan saves it. Stockton in a zone. And they're wanting to stay in front of Crossing, but they can't. Over the top, Crossing. They just don't have anybody tall enough to compete with her when it goes over the top. Lowry, head fake down the lane she goes. Damro with a, no, excuse me, that's Campbell. The ball goes out of bounds off Stockton. Now that's Campbell with that shot from the wing. Perry with the ball for Minneapolis. Now switching up. Donovan tipped away by Berkeley. And she goes in for the layup. Shoemaker almost got a hand on it. And Stockton with a fast break layup. Walk. Oop. Good call a tie up. Position arrow to Stockton. Stockton doing a good job doubling down on Crossan and got her tied up that time. Seamers and Darrow in for Minneapolis. Berkeley with the ball looking to work against looks like a 1-3-1 zone defense by Minneapolis. Now Perry hounding Berkeley out on top. Nelson with the ball. Freshman for Stockton. Long two-pointer by Berkeley. Back rim. Now Perry on the move. One-on-one. -on -one. She's going in. No good. She knew she had a rebounder on the backside and crossing. With another basket for Minneapolis. 439 left. Third quarter, Dale. We're just about to 50 points. Jump shot by Lowry. It's blocked, but Damro with the rebound and stick back for Stockton. 
Now Darrow, long pass from Perry goes out of bounds. Had Chantel turned around and could not recover to grab that ball. Brittany Fulton back in for Minneapolis. Has hammered down a couple three balls tonight. Now Criley in for Stockton. Berkeley, no place to go. Criley in the corner now. Pass goes over the head of Nelson. Or yeah, Nelson. Hello, Chuck. Over the head of Nelson and out of bounds to Minneapolis. Shoemaker with the ball on the wing. Stockton, man to man, drives the lane, shot, back rim. Seamers with the rebound. Shoemaker looks at a three, it's gonna be short. She was off balance. Coach Darrow says, dribble right on in and take that little 12 footer. I don't think Darrow was too comfortable with the footwork and let loose a three that Barely drew iron. Now Stockton looking inside. Damro, Berkeley, Nelson with the ball. Freshman wingman now. Damro. Now, you know, I'm sorry, man. You clear from back there, you're behind them. And Crossan is whistled with the foul. It'll be her second. And Damro will go to the line to shoot Looks two. Looks like a clean block to me. First shot's up and in. 47-17, Minneapolis. 30-point lead. Second throw, it's good. Now Lowry back in for Stockton. Damro out. Darrow with the ball on the wing, looking inside. Now to Seamers, goes in for a 12-footer. Front ram. Well, we've gotten kind of cold here the last two minutes. Berkeley now with the ball for Stockton, plays it on the wing. Way out on top to Nelson. Oh, oh. oh mercy. Well, I'll agree with the ref there. <laughs> Good solid hit there by Krista Seamers, and that'll be her second foul. Third team foul for Minneapolis. Seamers going after that loose ball and runs in. Kind of looks like the light beer commercial on the Super Bowl, playing touch football, you know. <laughs> in the lane, jump shot, no good. She gets her own rebound and back, put back goes in for Criley. Now Fulton, entry pass to Cross, and she's all alone all the way to the basket. Overplay by Stockton. Loud Cross and easy access to the basket. About her 20th point. Lowry in the lane. Donovan what a play by Dar uh, Donovan. Rips that ball away and rescues it. Now Darrow all the way to the basket. She's fouled. I didn't think they were going to call that, but that was a pretty good swat there. Yep compared to the stuff that Crossan had. And Darrow would go to the line to shoot two. Fifty-seven percent free throw shooter. First one's good. Oh, just rims off. And Chantel shoots right at 50% on free throws. Second throw is no good. Lowry. She walked. 
She's a walking. Had Stockton turn around backwards and she didn't regain her feet. Hell, hell, the gang's all here. We ought to get together. Uh, Minneapolis just got right after it early on and haven't given it up yet. Finally took the pressure off, though. Yeah, looks like a nice lead here. Forty-nine twenty. Nice pass to Damro. She can't handle it. Goes through her legs. Now Perry on the move. For Minneapolis on the wing. Shot is blocked by Campbell. Now Lowry with the ball for Stockton. Campbell with the ball, entry pass to Criley, turnaround shots, no good. And Donovan with the big re rebound. Now Perry one on one has Antwell on the other side. Shots up and partially blocked by Campbell. Now Lauer with a big move to the basket is fouled by Brittany Fulton. Third team foul. First personal. Well, we've been sitting on 47, 49 points for quite a while. First one's up and in for Lowry. Like I say, we got kind of cold there about halfway through the third quarter, and we haven't really done much since. Second throw is good. Lowry, I bet, has most of, if not all of, Stockton's points. Tipped out of bounds by Lowry. She's pretty active. Yep. Now Donovan to play it in for Minneapolis. Perry with the ball. Stop the circle. Fulton, three-pointer. Rims off. Perry with the offensive board. Stick back, no good. Now Donovan, who? Oh. Who? Oh. She goes the line for two. Fouls on number 55, Chelsea Riley. That's her first personal foul. At the line, Megan Donovan. First one rims off now. First one, second one's up and in. Donovan now, Minneapolis 50 points, Trace. And uh, like I said, there, he got up. We had full court pressure on him for a while. Darrell just finally had to take it off. Uh, yeah, I was listening to the game on the radio before I made it up here, and it sounded like it was all Lady Lions. Yeah, it's kind of nice. 50 22, tipped away by Allie Catron. Now Perry over to Catron. Oh, that's a nice pass. Allie Catron with the bucket on the backside. Extends that lead to 30 points. Berkeley with the ball. Nowhere to go. Picked up her dribble. Now Nelson, entry pass to Damrose. Tipped away by Allie Catron. 16 to shoot here in the third quarter. Looks like the Lady Lions will be making a trip to Osborne. Unless, well... That'll be good, yeah. Donovan just could have got foul number four That'll there. be Thursday night, I believe. Donovan wrestles that ball away. Now, Catherine, she's hammered. 1.9 seconds left. Allie Catherine with that stick back, and she is fouled. And she'll shoot, too. The foul is charged to number 20, Jenny Nelson. That is her third person. Donovan, uh... Kind of showed some of her strength over there on that other side. Just ripped that ball away from the Stockton girl over there. She's a fiery player. Nice crowd. Yeah, I told Dale, I think we should pack the place tonight, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. I parked about two blocks away, so I, I kept looking for something closer, but 
Patron one out of two on a free throw is tipped out of bounds by Atwell and it will be no lost out of bounds by Stockton point six seconds we're gonna have to get this one up in a hurry and we didn't <laughs> half a second to get that one up and not on its way to the basket almost impossible I can't ever remember being to the Osborne gym I guess of you I played there a long time Back ago, when we were teenagers yeah. Same gym then, huh? I think so, yeah. I think it was pretty new back then. Yeah. Back when we were kids. And that's the way the third quarter will end. Uh, Minneapolis clinging to a 31-point lead. And since they've only scored 22 points in three quarters, I'd say they got their work cut out. <laughs> well, they scored more points and we scored less that time. It was, really? it was 17 to 10 is the scoring pace. Well, we outscored them 18 to six the first quarter and we outscored them 18 to six the, the second, second quarter. quarter. Well, now 17 well, to 10 to the third. Been, what, 36 to 12 at half? Yep. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 17 to 10 this quarter, and it could have been a lot worse if we hadn't been so cold. <laughs> I wonder who the Lady Lions will play Thursday. Of course, nobody knows for sure, but I wonder what the projected uh, team would be. Plainville is the higher seed. Al Perry with the ball. Shoemaker back in from Minneapolis, Darrow. Seamers and Crossing. Seamers with the ball now on the wing to Perry, looking inside, head fake. They shut down the baseline. Darrow with a three-pointer. Nice pass. Shoemaker rescues that ball Whoa. now on the way to the basket. Who? He calls a player control foul on Jared Shoemaker. Well, I think she kind of did. Kind of like a runaway train. First team, first personal. That's just Jarrah's first foul. Looks like we're going to pick him up at half court. Ooh, long pass to the corner. Crowley, that ball's kicked out of bounds by Crossan. Sounded like Jarrah and uh, uh, Crossan had most of the points first half, what the radio sounded like. We had seven girls score in the first half, and they were both in double figures. Now Darrow fighting for that loose ball. It goes inside. Damro now crossing on the road. Crossing showing her mobility, comes down the floor with a Stockton Lady Tiger on each side of her in that fast break. And it's tipped out of bounds right at the end by Stockton now. Chantel, good look at a three. It's good. Darrow hammers down a three-pointer from the wing. Chantel's first point is now Shoemaker with the interception. Looking down the court all the way to baseline. Shot no good. And Berkeley with the rebound for Stockton. with the ball tipped away by Perry. Now she drives in, dumps it off to Damro, and that shot rims off. She gets it back again. It's up and in. Now Stockton working hard on the offensive glass. Crossing with Ooh. the ball in close. It's good. She's got to have 20. Yes, 22. Jordan Crossan now with 22 points for Minneapolis. Tipped away by Seamers. She outruns. Uh oh. No. Not and coming through. Shot, it rims off. Darrow with the offensive board. Perry yep. up and in. She'll go to the rack. Second leading rebounder for Minneapolis. Now Stockton with the ball to Lyra with the baseline move. Inside, she's fouled. And that's probably Jordan Crossan's. Third foul. Yep, three on Jordan. That's her third personal foul. And the line, 
Number 20 for Stockton is a freshman. Number 20. Uh huh. First throw by Lowry on the front ramp. Campbell back in for Stockton. Lowry with second free throw here. 60 24. Second throw is good. He's got a nice shot. I would venture to guess she has most of the points for Stockton now. Shot on the wing by Chantel, rims off, and she tries to rescue it, goes out of bounds. Now fresh four for Minneapolis, Allie Katrin, Melanie. No, not Melanie. Cantwell, Darrow, Fulton, Allie Katrin, and Megan Donovan. Campbell with the ball now on the wing to Nelson. Entry pass to Campbell. Shot's no good, and Allie Katrin with the rebound. For Minneapolis. Brittany Fulton, long three-pointer, rims off. Now Alwell looks for the three. Chantel, front rim. Lowry with the rebound. For Stockton. Man to man defense by Minneapolis. Now Damro with the oh, drive to the mercy. basket and foul number four on Donovan. Donovan. Now that one I agree with. She caught her squarely in the mug. <laughs> yeah, that was all foul. <laughs> we don't need to uh, review that play. <laughs> Damro, two throws, first one's up and in. Now we get Melanie Katrin. Katrin sisters will be underneath there together. Senior and a sophomore. Second one's up and in. Kylie in for Stockton and Damro will get a break. Yeah, well, crosses the timeline now on the wing. Fulton, baseline drive, now back to Allie Katrin. Darrow, free throw, no good. And Lowry flexes the rebound for Stockton. 426 left in the fourth quarter. Nelson's shot, no good. Nope. Foul Apple over the back. Yep. Say, Trace. Yep. They'll call that 99 times out of 100. Well, I thought the blue girl was over the back. She was. Okay. Used to be a nickel, I think. Didn't it? Four minutes left in this contest. Minneapolis 60, Stockton 27. Stockton, man-to-man -man defense. Fulton, shot's good. She's starting to warm up. Yeah, nice shot. Nelson with the ball now to Lowry. Jump shot in the lane, it's good. Darrow now with the ball for Minneapolis. Crossover dribble. Well, all the way to the back. Basket, it shots up and in. Nice move by Todd Rantwell. They gave her the baseline. She went all the way to the basket. Well, so far, everybody that's played has scored except for Krista Seamer. And she made a bucket, but it didn't count. Yeah. Sixty-four twenty-nine, three thirty-six to go in the game. That's the way we kind of like it. We don't have to worry about the score again. We're Pressure's off. Twenty-seven points ahead. This is not a nail biter. <laughs> 
Looks like coach has cleared the bench. Everyone's going to play. I'll be surprised if either game is a nail biter tonight, quite honestly. They're not designed to be that way anyway. Kayla Briggs and Jessica DeVries in for Minneapolis. From one end of the court to the other, Jessica can almost stay with Jessica Perry. So pretty quick. Campbell all the way to the basket. And Melanie Catron with the big rebound for Minneapolis. Now Kayla Briggs with the ball. Shoemaker. Baseline drive. This is Whoa. wow. Could you hear that? Yes, I did. <laughs> nice dump down pass by Shoemaker to Allie Catron, and she's fouled. Allie Catron. She'll shoot two. You know it's got to be pretty warm. The kids have got their shorts and. Yeah. Well, it's 80 degrees tomorrow. I know it. It's just almost unbelievable. Sure needs some moisture sometime. Yes. Catherine, second one is up and in. 65-29. No trouble with these games being iced out this year. No. As we have had in the past. Lowry turnaround jump shots no good and Allie Catron claims that rebound uh -oh. for Minneapolis. <laughs> what happened there? He bounced it off Shoemaker's foot. Yeah, just um, she dribbled it off the back of uh, Catron's foot. Yes, she did. Yeah, she's gonna. I think Jer's gonna call it a night there. 2:49 left. Lowry or Campbell with a nice. Shot and whoop, stopped the, cert, or stopped the lane. Tipped out of bounds by Stockton and Minneapolis. Jessica DeRees now. Crossover dribble. All the way to the basket. Out front to Melanie. Catherine now, Alley Catherine. Oh! Shot just rims off. Now Lowry on the move for Stockton. All the way to the basket. Yep. She's got a bunch. Of that 31, I bet she's got half of them. Breeze with the ball now. Kayla. Shot by Darrow, rims off, and Stockton tracks down the long rebound. They have numbers. Campbell, good. Count it. And Melanie Catron is whistled with. Foul. That's her first foul. That's her first personal foul. Brittany Fulton in for Minneapolis. Shot's good. Three point play the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way, that's right. Jessica DeVries, right? she's got some foot speed, went right around the player guarding her. Now, Fulton. That's not a Buckley's girl. That's not a Buckley's girl. Oh, really? Number five. Okay. She's going to be an exciting guard. Yeah, she'll be fun to watch. Campbell with the ball in close, and shot goes up and in. Kayla Briggs with the ball for Minneapolis. Now Catherine on the wing. Fulton, she's not afraid to let it fly. Shot just rims off. Briggs. And ball's intercepted by Nellie. Uh oh. Almost tipped away by Stockton. She, she almost traveled foot. With it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nope. Kayla's shot just. Uh oh. Front rim. Well, I was hoping we were going to get 70 points here this game, but I don't think it's going to happen. 56 seconds left in this contest. Minneapolis up 30. 
That one looked pretty good, but that just rimmed off. Fulton lets go with another three-pointer, and Stockton throws the ball out of bounds. And it will be Minneapolis ball to play it in with 48 seconds. I bet that ice cream machine is going to get a good workout in there tonight, Mike. Kind of hoping Chuck would bring some with him when he came out. Some what? Ice, ice cream, cream machine. Well, he can still go get it. There's time. Catherine with the ball now on the wing to Fulton. Has the baseline. Goes back. It's shut down by Campbell. The three shot. No good. And Damro with the rebound. Oh! He walked. Them boots were made for walking, Mike. Well, she just got little feet, that's why. Yep. Couldn't keep her balance. Good. 20 seconds. Reeves, Fulton on the wing. Now in close, Melanie Katzen, turn around jump shot, no good. Whoop. Allie Katzen with the rebound. Now no Melanie good. on the other side. Three shot by the Katzen girls. Mike, the ball game's over, buddy. And that's the way it ends. We're on our way to Osborne. That'll be good. Girls need to move on. Yes. Past few years, it's been one and out. We've been playing against the top seed. Yeah. Like every year, so. Sure makes a difference, doesn't it? We're due to move on. Stockton, a little out man tonight. Minneapolis had plenty of depth to go around, up and down the bench. Well, they outscored us that quarter. 14 to 12. I'll be darned. <laughs> the fourth quarter? Yeah. Well, the Lady Lions move on for the first time in a number of years for the second game of Substate. Unofficial scoring here for the night. Uh, two points for Melanie Catron. Two points for Audra Atwell. Three points for Chantel Darrow. Four points for Ali Catron. Five points for Megan Donovan. Six points for Jessa Perry. Sixteen points for Jared Shoemaker. And the leading scorer for the night for the Lady Lions anyway. Twenty-two points for Jordan Crossan. Well, I knew she had a bunch. They kept feeding it there and she was open. Got warmed up there in the second half. So we'll be back with the boys game on this nightcap of this doubleheader here shortly.
put a fly hand grip on it and turn it on and wherever you're pointing the video come up with something like that, I'd love that. Thank you. 